From somewhere in the space-time continuum. Probably a bit further in the future. Well, at least for Walter. <laughs> It's 2340. I don't know how I arrived in the future. I'm still here, still uh, chipping away at various projects, including eating pies. Um, well, has not been dull? I suppose uh, the last 10 years or so have, have been a little dull, been a bit harrowing, if I'm honest. Humanity seems to have disappeared. Food and energy is scarce still. Morale is in the gutter, and that's, that's everyone's. That's not just me and life does seem increasingly pointless. No longer have anything to do, really. I mean, these tasks don't seem to work, so I don't really have any real purpose anymore. Sort of lost all hope. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Idle hands are the devil's advocate. Walter. Oh, I can hear a voice. Walter. Is that a voice, or is that my head? It's not in your head. It can't, it can't be Walter. It is. Oh, maybe it is. I need you to do the calculations that we discussed, and also follow these simple instructions, starting with walk four paces. Walk four paces? Yes, walk four paces, but not towards me, because that would just be silly. Oh. Go south-south-west, uh, but not like a crab, like you're on a horse, but more convincing. You are now hungry. I am hungry. Find some food. Prepare food. Come on, quickly. No quicker than that. Like real food, not just fake food from your fake cereal bowl. That's right. No, not like that. You can't eat cereal with a fork. That doesn't work. And so this went back and forth between Walter and Walter giving the instructions. And just when things couldn't get any more ridiculous, suddenly there's a narrator involved. And so it continued. Go for a ride on your fake unicorn. Walter went for a ride on his fake unicorn. Pick things up off the shelf. Walter went to pick something on the shelf. And then got confused and stopped. Clearly this was the tipping point. I don't know what you want from me. Walter wanted Walter to follow the basic instructions in order to save humanity, and also to correct all of the timelines, as previously explained to him in the first episode, by an alcoholic version of himself from his own future. Walter went to do the calculations, and then went to listen, before returning to his calculations. He liked to listen, but he seemed slightly confused by all the different voices. Although there's only two, it's not that confusing, really. Maybe you're not ready for the Pun Master. Your name is the Pun Master? That's not even a pun. That's rubbish. Like, what? what is that? He then decided to look into the light while holding his chin. It required a lot of tea to finish the job. Or maybe, maybe not that much tea. All right, one, one mouthful, one cup, less than one, a little bit. Yes, I'm, I'm just doing the calculations. Uh, uh, don't, don't interrupt me. This is very important. Uh, I've got them here, and uh, it appears that the answer is. Um, Five million three hundred and eighteen thousand and eight. Um, I'm not sure what the meaning behind that is. Uh, mm, boobies. Sometimes I do these uh, calculations and these writings and put it all down on paper and then realize that maybe I've just completely lost the plot. The day was getting long and Walter went to clean his glasses in order to return to his reading, although this didn't last, because the glasses were still dirty, and he poked himself in the eye before eating a piece of pie, says I, or maybe a cup of chai, a big cup of tea, no, the pie, uh, two pies, a, a wiggly pie, a two medium and a small pie. Come on, what else have you done? Uh, well, I've come up with a couple of fairly good inventions, I'd say. Um, like the, uh, the zombie apocalypse tea drinking technique. Um, it's very simple. Essentially, uh, you know, you're just having a nice relaxing afternoon. Um, suddenly you're about to die. You've got to go. Your tea's too hot. You know, you have to drink it quickly. So essentially, you want to keep up. <laughs> Ah, 
and it's painless and, <clears throat> and there's no annoying noises or side effects so I think that works quite well and you hold it like this you hold it like this because then they can't steal it as well and it keeps it nice and cool as you drink it's like an air conditioning unit and uh, it makes you look so strange that even the zombies sort of just forget to attack you and leave you alone. Um, it also works if you're uh, trying to repel people. Oh, I'm getting another uh, another message from somewhere. Hang on. Oh, a news, a news reading. This could be interesting. Okay, let's see if they've got any useful information. And now on future news from the future, not in the past. It's not the present. It's actually in the future. For me, it's the present. But for you, I'm in the future. We are future news, always keeping up to date with the future and the news. Scientists have discovered a group of pigeons that have formed a politically neutral party. It is thought that members are spread across both the left and the right wing. The first unicorn to pass Euro 97 emissions has been approved by the government. It is said to have excellent miles per gallop. The time traveller has a new rival. The Time Traveller. The new Time Traveller is from the Parallel Parallel Universe, and it seems that he is less concerned with saving the world and more concerned with cooking a nice dinner. Reports suggest that in most major supermarket chains, the herb aisle is now dangerously low. Walter has received a new set of arbitrary instructions on how to navigate the universe. It is thought that he still has absolutely no idea what is going on. And now for the weather. It is cloudy. It is mainly cloudy. It is always cloudy. In the future, the weather is kind of cloudy. There are little bits of clouds here and there. Some blue sky, but it's mainly cloudy. There will be some sun, some sun, but mostly cloud. What was that, Colin? Oh yeah, no, I think we're gonna go on air in about two minutes. Yeah. Oh, it's the future news on channel 947.2. The serial killer is still on the loose. It is thought that as many as 30 boxes of wheat biscuits have now been destroyed. What happened to you? Yes, uh, I don't know. Maybe there was a short circuit or something. Um, why, what makes you ask? Well, I mean, you know, free news, you can't beat that. Uh, very useful information there, particularly about the weather. Um, I'll be tuning in soon. Was it channel 41,000 or something? I see that there's a new sports reader needed on uh, channel 9,842. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really down with the uh, handball rules. But... Oh! This is the future news. The news that is basically from the future, but more futuristic. More informative, but with less information. More stimulating but dull. There is still a widespread shortage of goods, including food and also beauty care products, including razors. Luckily the delivery was in time for Christmas, otherwise it would have been a bit of a close shave. This is now in fact the end of the news script. Please do not read this. We are no longer live. Oh, okay, I understand. Uh, yeah, cheers guys. Um, yeah, another great show, great show. See you next week. Okay, well, I mean, you know, this is a lot of information to take in all at once, so I think I'm just going to have to absorb and decompress after that. Um, getting another intercepted message. Oh, hey man, I think uh, I think we've got our wires crossed somewhere. Yeah, it's all chill, man, it's all chill. You know, we're all here. We're all here to talk, exchange ideas and, and uh, you know, have a merry time. It is Christmas after all, in several times, not just the future. Yeah, man, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of doing my thing. I'm just vibing. You guys, you guys do what you want, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, back in the 30s, me and the boys, you know, we were just like busting some grooves. You know, we're really in the zone. Where's the rest of them? I want to meet them. Yeah, man, you know, some of them call us the Bruise Brothers because we're just a bit more, you know. Not sure the Bruise Brothers really works. More like the Booze Brothers. Maybe it's because our, our tune is just a bit more like, <clears throat> you know? It's just a bit more like, 
ridiculous. Also, where are your brothers? Actually, uh, I think the Blues Brothers took their influence from us, you know? We're sort of from outside of time as well, but uh, it's just the way it goes. You know, we'll pop back to the 20s sometime and, and chill. Just go down to somewhere in London and, you know, Paris. Set a few trends. Go on, keep keep going. Uh, you know, this is like the most exciting thing that's happened in the last 10 years. Yeah, I think they sometimes they just call us like the Snooze Brothers, you know? I'm not sure why we get that name from. Maybe it's just because it's so, it's so chill, you know? You could just snooze. Oh, someone else just to join the party. Who's this? I'm the sponge guy. I like sponge. Of course you're the sponge guy. Who else would you be? Why not have a tomato ketchup person? I mean, I've been looking around to be honest. I mean, this place is just not paying the bills. You know how it is. Yeah, I saw there was like an opportunity for uh, next year's World's Strongest Man competition. So I might go for that. I think I've got a better chance of getting a pay rise, you know. Also, I've probably got the physique, the general sort of attitude. Uh, gladiator type build. Oh, we're on air. Uh, and now to play us out. Play us out. What does that, what does that mean? To play us out. Well, I mean, I've interacted with the uh, the Booze Brothers, or whatever they were called. Yeah, peace out, guys. Peace out. And also, I imagine that, uh, like intrusive thoughts, they will probably now continue to follow me around in a series of everlasting, sort of nightmarish scenarios. So, uh, I look forward to that. And uh, I say farewell to you all, uh, hoping that, obviously, you're never going to return. But, you know, as I'm British and uh, fake nice, you know, I genuinely wish you all the best, um, and uh, hope to see you soon. It'd be lovely to see you all again. Maybe one of you could host next time. We'll all come round. No, I don't want to be any part of this, man. You know, I've just, I've got my own thing going on. You guys, you guys hash it out. I'm, I'm not doing no riding horse unicorn and all that sort of thing. You know, I've got, I've got gigs to play, and uh, I've just got my own thing going on, so... You know, I'm just going to head back to Chicago and hit up a jazz bar or something tonight, yeah. You guys carry on, you know? That interesting character. Um, don't think we're much alike, but, um, you know, maybe uh, maybe we are. Don't know if I'm chill enough to, uh, to really vibe with that sort of energy, but um, I guess uh, all I need is a sort of different approach, you know? I just need to be more zen, more floaty. So you got it wrong? Yeah, yeah, I got it all wrong. I mean, which Walter are you? There's so many different timelines. There's literally three Walters. I'm one of the three. I can't believe you got it all wrong. What am I supposed to do? Interact with a human vending machine. Interact with a human vending machine? Yes. It's uh, rather terrifying. And finally, go to the electrical store and get overcharged. I need to go to an electrical store and get overcharged. I'm not a double-A battery. I don't know if I can promise that. I suppose it depends what happens, really. Like all of these things, it's kind of out of my control. What should I do? Spend another ten years following up your commands, uh, eating Cocoa Pops and surviving on uh, scraps from the wild. I mean, if you didn't, where would be the pun in that? Oh, okay. I suppose, like all the others, there could be a pun here, couldn't there? Maybe I shouldn't take it literally. So I have me, Walt, and Walter, and then the Double Double Universe Walter, um, obviously, and uh, yes, it's, it's not affecting my mental state in any way. Um, I, I feel fairly grounded. All of this uh, toing and froing, you know, it's not it's not phasing me whatsoever. I'm 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 unfazable. Uh, I think that can show in the way that I'm kind of expressing myself at the moment. Well, there's only about four or five different timelines, so uh, I can keep track of it. And there's another time traveller on the horizon. The time traveller. Let's not read into that too much. Oh, I think we may have just shifted onto a different timeline. Uh, I, I'm getting used to them now. It's a bit like being jet lagged. Only instead of ten hours, it's ten million years. Oh, I'm getting another. I, I think I'm receiving another signal again. Hey, I'm I'm Walterina. I'm from the parallel parallel universe. I don't even know who you are. I'm a bit lost. Um, basically looking for a hairbrush. That's, That's kind of the main mission. Oh, my my female version of me. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, why not? Why not? I seem, I seem to have got, got the wrong number, number but, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll leave, leave you to it. it. Have a good evening, everything. Anyone else? Hey, man. Hey. 
Oh, the booze brother, of course. Uh, no, that's that's not my name. Uh, I'm just a, I'm just a mod, innit? You know, just uh, just grooving along. Yeah, I'm in a couple of bands. Like, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I got to keep up with the celeb lifestyle and the and the drinking. You know, you know how it is. Oh, and uh, oh, I've just lost lost my lid. It's been cool talking to you, though, man. You know. Uh, get back in touch, actually. I've changed my mind. Maybe I feel like we could vibe off each other. We could write some tunes, you know? Do you know any piano? You know, we could just like, we could just jam, you know? Okay, well, uh, I would say goodbye and uh, leave it at that, but I'm sure the narrator will uh, step in. Walter and... decided to say his goodbyes to the other Walters yeah. from all the other different universes. I'm, 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 I'll, let, I'll let him finish. He decided to let the narrator finish because he's better than him. That basically everything. He then decided to do some random tasks so the narrator would still have something to do, although they were so quick and random that the narrator did get confused. He held a fork and then went to drink something and then ran and then injured himself and then ran out of breath and then uh, displayed an air of dominance. This is the future news. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is just straight whiskey to be honest, mate. Yeah. Um, I was drinking the coffee, but it's just... Oh, we're on air, we're on air. Walter has received some more arbitrary instructions from the universe. The voice is unknown, almost like a voiceover, but it contains useful information about his life and what it means and how to make a drink. And once again, none of this makes any sense, so I don't actually have to uh, make sense of it myself either. So... Uh, it's a, a futuristic. I put my pen away. I will work on my uh, my assignments and uh, report back to you in uh, good time. Whatever on earth that means anymore. Anyway, yeah, it's all been a bit a bit nightmarish, really. Um, a bit stressful, but uh, hey, you know you've got to laugh, haven't you? Okay, let me just uh, ride off into the distance on my uh, incredibly economical unicorn. And in case you missed that, Walter then rode off on his economical unicorn. <sighs> Idiot. Over and out. See you later. No, I, I was, uh, I know, I was thinking the same. I really didn't want to get out of bed today. You know, it's always a drag coming here. It? Oh! And now for the weather again. As you can see, Absolutely nothing has changed. There's still some weather. It's kind of light, you know, nothing too drastic. But basically, it's a bit cloudy. Some clouds, some blue sky, some sun. But it's cloudy. I don't need to do this job anymore. You kind of know what's coming. They pay me to do this, but uh, I don't need to do this, you know? What was that? Oh yeah, no, I did meet someone recently. Um, where did we go? Oh, we went to this uh, haunted house. Yeah, it was like a fairground. Yeah, no, we're not in touch anymore. She ghosted me.